Rehabilitation refers to enhancing or restoring the movement and quality of life for people with disabilities or other impairments due to diseases or injury. However, doing repetitive tasks for long periods of time is daunting and less intensive than needed for proper treatment. For this reason, our old friend's robots come in handy here. Robots turn repetitive, dull exercises into more challenging and motivating tasks such as games. From the design point of view, upper extremity rehabilitation robots can be classified into endovector-based robots and exoskeleton-type robots. Endovector-based robots are simple and the patient's hand is attached to the handle of the robot to follow a specified uh, trajectory. As an example, MIT Manus or Emotion is a 5 degrees of freedom endovector based robot for rehabilitation of the upper limb after a stroke and it's developed by MIT. It uses games to increase the rehabilitation outcome. The 5 degrees of freedom of this robot are two translational DOFs uh, for elbow and forearm flexion extension and pronation supination, and 3 degrees of freedom for wrist flexion extension, pronation supination, and abduction adduction. Impedance control is used to control this robot. Exoskeleton-type upper extremity rehabilitation robots have the same or more degrees of freedom than the human arm, and the robot joints are usually aligned with the human joints. They typically calculate the required torque for each joint and control the limb movements. For instance, Armin or Armio Power is a 7 degrees of freedom exoskeleton type robot developed by Neff et al. and um, then with Hokama with joint limits according to the human limbs. The 7 degrees of freedom consists of shoulder rotations and 3D flexion extension of the elbow, supination pronation of the forearm, flexion extension of the wrist, and closing and opening of the hand. In conclusion, research shows that robot-aided therapy indeed had a greater influence than manually assisted therapy. The intensity of exercises can be increased using virtual reality technology and games that can motivate patients to exercise more.